AI. When identifying opportunities in your research, it's important to understand the difference between technology push and market pull. To facilitate this, we'll learn some basic brainstorming rules that will help you to identify those opportunities. And once we've identified them, we'll see how we continue with them. When identifying market opportunities, it's important to understand that there are two ways to create innovations. The one is technology push, and the other is market pull. In technology push, we'll start with an existing technology and we'll try to find the customer need that is solved by this technology. The other way around, in market pull, we'll start with a customer problem or a customer need, and we're on a quest to identify a specific technology to solve that need. Either way, technology push or market pull, a lot of iteration is involved. In the technology push situation, we'll have to iterate on identifying the problem and talking to a lot of customers. In the market pool, the iterations will happen in most cases in prototyping and offering possible technical solutions to customers. You will experience the process of technology push. So it will involve a lot of brainstorming and talking and communicating about customer needs, problems and markets. When brainstorming for business opportunities, it's important to keep two phases separated. In the idea generation phase, the goal is to find as much ideas as possible, while in the idea selection phase, the goal is to limit the list to a workable number. While doing the brainstorming, try to stick to high level ideas and don't dive too much into detail, because it will slow the entire process down. When looking for opportunities, you could try to find differentiating key elements in your research. By putting those elements in a Venn diagram with overlapping circles, you will find the strongest business propositions in the center. Let's give an example. Somebody developed a new textile antenna that had three key elements. Each of those elements has a couple of valuable consequences. The fact that the antenna is M embedded has the consequences that it is hidden and it has a nice look and feel, it can't be detached from the textile and it's very lightweight. For example, if we look at the center of the Venn diagram, there's the localization system for safety rafts. It's clear that it's valuable that an antenna cannot be detached of the safety raft, so technical problems when you're at an emergency situation can be avoided. It's also valuable that the antenna is flexible and can be bended because the rafts, when they're in a storm at sea, go to very high stress situations. And also, it's valuable that the antenna uses less power and has a better sensitivity, so it's possible to send emergency signals for a longer period of time. When you finish your brainstorm, you'll have a long list of ideas and opportunities that can be developed. Select the top three to five ideas and elaborate them on a one-pager, where you describe the problem you want to solve, the customer, the offer, why is it unique, the feasibility, and a high-level back-of-the-envelope calculation of the market potential. That way, you can start with the most promising option. Keep in mind that it's an iterative process, and maybe you'll have to go back to your earlier list of ideas because you run into technical problems or organizational issues. So we learn to combine the key elements in a brainstorm for new solutions and to first ideate and only select at the end. Thank you.